It's almost like uh, Tom Cruise at cocktail. <laughs> I am. Yeah. Hi, and welcome to Biofar More. You may remember in the previous episode, we visited the Brim Center in Boston and Dave Sarazino mentioned a revolutionary new product. We have the Thermoscientific Smart Digest Kit for moving biomarker research from discovery into diagnostics. So I'm here at the Chromatography and Consumables Research Centre in Runcorn in the UK to find out a little bit more about this product. From discovery and characterization through to quality assurance post-production, peptide mapping is necessary to reveal a level of detail that can't be obtained from intact mass analyses. There are a number of pain points in protein digestion. First of all, it's a multi-step process. So it, there are many points at which that something can go wrong in the experiment. It then takes at least overnight for most proteases to completely digest a biotherapeutic. So it takes a long time, and that's valuable time that you could be running and analyzing these samples. So the faster we can turn around a protein digest, the quicker we can get results, and the faster we can make changes to the development of our biotherapeutic. We quite often forget the critical quality attributes of some of the tools that we're using to find out the answers to those questions. You know, what steps are involved in that? Is it really the most efficient way? Can we get our answers faster? And most importantly, are the results reproducible from run to run, from lab to lab, from chemist to chemist, and from day or week or year to year? Well, that's why I'm here, and I'm gonna to speak to Mike Oliver, who is product manager for Smart Digest Kits, and also to Mark Rapson. Thank you very much for having me here to talk to you today about um, Smart Digest. So, when did Smart Digest launch? So, the first iteration of the kit launched at uh, ASMS last year, 2015. What would you say was the main driving force behind developing Smart Digest? Well, there's, there's a few areas that our customers have seen as real pain points. I think one is, is speed, and the other is reproducibility. I think the idea with the Smart Digest kit is to take away a lot of those pain barriers, so mm -hmm. remove up that multifaceted steps, all those multifaceted steps that you have to go through in solution digest protocol, and really simplify that process as much as possible. So rather than multiple steps to make up all those different buffers, etc., reagents, everything's in the kit, everything's pre-made, and really it, it's a three-step protocol. I found scientific Smart Digest kits come with everything that essentially that you need. I'm just going to give you one of our little PCR tubes with um, the immobilized heat stable resin. 150 microliters of the Smart Digest buffer. Okay. So we put it into a heat shaker, turn it up to about 1400 RPM, 70 degrees C. Okay, you might have to do a centrifugation step or an SP step with the solar micro SP to, to clean up your sample if it's from a complex matrix such as plasma. And that's it? That's it. It's wow, done. that's amazingly quicker. Oh, it's a lot easier yeah. and a lot less chance for making a mistake. Obviously, yeah. I'm infallible, so I wouldn't have made any, but um, <laughs> anyone else. So yeah. which, which one of those two would you prefer to do, do you think? The most definitely the smart one. Who, who did you design the Smart Digest for specifically? So what we're looking at is buy pharmaceutical companies for a specifically high throughput environments where mm -hmm. speed's important, obviously, so that they can get as number of samples through as quickly as possible, but also where reproducibility is of fundamental importance. So those were some of the key areas that we need to address to enable them to meet their expectations. So as well as having a lot of fun here today, <laughs> I've learned a lot about the advances in technology that are on offer in protein digestion, specifically for peptide mapping. I like to think of the years that of my life that I spent doing protein digests were character building, but I do admit I wish I'd had smart digest back when I was doing my PhD. Cut. Yeah. Well, we'll do it again. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more news and events from the world of pharma and biopharma. That do?